Welcome to my English basic series. Today we're looking at adjectives. We're going to look at what an adjective is, we're going to look at where they go in a sentence, then we're going to look at different types of adjectives, and finally we're going to look at the word order for adjectives. I can't wait, so let's get to it. What is an adjective? An adjective is a word that describes a noun. It gives us more information about a noun. So, where am I? I'm in London. London is a big city. Big is the adjective, city is the noun. I could say that London is an exciting city. Exciting is the adjective and city is the noun. Now, adjectives can go in two positions. They can go before the noun or they can go after the noun. So, for example, London is really expensive. London is the noun and expensive is the adjective. London! Pepper and her playgroup are visiting London for the day. Children, this is London! Wow, it's so busy! Now, two common types of adjectives are adjectives that end with ed and adjectives that end with ing. For example, bored and boring. Bored and boring. But what's the difference between them? Well, it's quite simple. Learning English is boring. I'm really bored. I hope you're not saying that, but let's go with that sentence. So learning English is boring. I'm really bored. Okay, so boring there is describing the thing, the learning English, yeah? Bored is describing how I feel. Okay, so with the ED ending adjectives, we are describing someone's feeling, but with the ING, we're describing a thing. Let me put it into another example for you. The football match was really exciting. I was really excited by the football match. So again, there are my, that's my feeling, excited with ED, but uh, to describe the football match, I'm gonna use the ING form. I was pleased, but clearly that wasn't the outcome that I'd expected, so um, onwards and upwards tomorrow. And finally, let's look at word order with adjectives, because sometimes we want to use more than one adjective in the sentence. How do we know which one goes first? Well, there is an order that we use. Let's look at this clip from friends to get an idea. Hey! Hey! hey. Babe, check it out! Yeah, for my dessert, I have chosen to make a traditional English trifle. So Rachel says a traditional English trifle. Trifle is the noun, that is a dessert. And then we have two adjectives, traditional and English. Well, traditional we could describe as being an opinion, I guess. And English, that's the origin, right? The origin of the noun. It's an English trifle. So we're gonna put opinion first, then we're gonna have origin, and then we'll have the noun. Now, the order, the full order would be this. So you start with opinion, that's what you think. So it's lovely, it's amazing, it's beautiful, it's traditional, whatever. Then you have the size, shape, or length. So it's big, it's small, it's tall, it's fat, it's round. Then you'd have the color, so yellow, blue, red. Then you have origin, okay, so English, uh, French, Japanese, whatever it is. Then you have materials, so it's leather, uh, cotton, etc. Then you have purpose. So for example, if we're talking about a car, we could say a sports car. Or if you're talking about a table, you could say a kitchen table. So that's the purpose. And finally, you have the noun, whatever the noun is. Could be car, table, bicycle, house, etc. All right, I think it's time to do a little test, okay? So I'm gonna put a few questions up and I want you to have a go, all right? If you're not quite ready, go back to the beginning of this video Rewatch it, try and remember everything you, you can, and then take the test.
how did you do? Was it okay? I hope so. Thank you very much for watching guys. I'm going to be doing many more English basics videos coming really soon. I'll make a playlist so that you can understand all the basics of English. But until next time, this is Tom, the Chief Dreamer, saying goodbye.